The penultimate game of the season for the Reds, but the last at home for legendary duo Will Genier and James Horwell. Uh, yeah, it'll be short, uh, sorely missed, but uh, I think the legacy he's left behind will be forever remembered. While the Reds have spent the week celebrating the pair, Horwell and Genia have been trying to play it down. Yeah, they don't want to be put up on a pedestal. And, um, in, in, my, in my opinion, they should be. You know, they're, they're club legends. They both played over 100 games for the state. and. I think it's, um, you know, it's, they, they deserve whatever they get and um, hopefully hopefully we can get a win for them. A win would mean a fairly boisterous dressing room post-match, something that will be lacking next year without James Horwell. Well, it's going to be different. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit, bit uh, more quiet <laughs> without Kev around. But, um, look, they're, it's, they're two players you can't replace, but uh, I think it's important that you know, you've got to look towards the future. Well, I think we've already had two, uh, sorry, 17 debutants this year. But it's the same starting 15 this week. The Chiefs clash not just acting as a farewell, but also a celebration of Indigenous round. Yeah, it's been great. It's been going for over four years now. It's just improving, improving, um, growing and growing. And I feel like, um, you know, especially the Reds, they've done a great job. But behind the scenes, you know, the, the Queensland government have jumped on board and, and have really pushed it and it's really going in the right direction. So... Um, hopefully it's a thing that we can continue to build on.